So this has arrived from uh, tool station. I only ordered it uh, yesterday. Uh, yesterday, probably late to mid morning, and it arrived today at uh, eight o'clock. Free delivery over uh, twenty-five pound. So I've treated myself to a nice new uh, high temperature blow lamp. So let's just unbox this and uh, see what we've got. Bit of uh, packaging. That'll be helpful for uh, useful for packing away my powder coating stuff. And here we've got uh, this uh, Vortex Raising Torch with map gas. So it was in the sale, it should have been £70, it was reduced to £59.99. And um, let's see what we've got. most important thing, map gas. That's supposed to burn a lot higher temperature, probably 30% higher temperature than um, the normal blow lamp. And, uh, the important part and a couple of, uh, couple of nozzles. Not sure what each one's for yet. Soldering and brazing. So yeah, very different uh, nozzles they are. So we'll leave them in the packaging for now. So it references uh, a place in Leeds, so maybe it's, maybe it's a manufactured in the UK item. It uh, certainly feels very nice. Got a Pizza Electric. Uh, starter. So we've got a cyclone frame, a vortex flame and a fine flame. So I'll have a play with them in a bit. First job's going to be to get the uh, brake nipple out of the seized, uh, seized brake nipple in one of my uh, new calipers. So, read the instructions now and uh, pretty straightforward. To, uh, to change the nozzle, you just unlock it. It says uh, lock and unlock on the uh, on the uh, top of the uh, the gun where you uh, top of the blowtorch where you actually uh, insert the insert the tubes. Um, you simply put the tube in uh, and locate it on the four lugs and turn it to 45 degrees to uh, to lock it in. Easy peasy. And just turn it the other way to uh, pull it out. So that's yeah, very uh, straightforward. So I'll just put it back in and lock it. Don't force it, otherwise you'll break things. Uh, the gas, like most blow torches, hold the gun, screw the canister on. Pick it up. Uh, Press the switch the lock to unlock and that's it. So you hit the light straight away. As soon as you, as soon as you let go, it uh, goes out. You can actually lock the flame by pressing that down and uh, let's put it a bit nearer so you can see. So you can actually lock the flame on. By pressing that down and then letting go the trigger, it's run constantly on. As soon as you want to switch it off, squeeze the trigger and it's off. So, uh, you can regulate the frame. Let's see what we've got here. Like that. So, yeah, very good. Very pleased with that. And let's see. Uh, 
So he does the job. got it to uh, cherry red you won't get that to cherry red with a normal blow lamp so uh, right, we'll let that cool off a bit and put some more freeing oil on it and uh, see how we go okay so it's cooled off a little bit um, so very very pleased with this very very pleased it's uh, certainly done the business it would glowing cherry red so uh, you normally only get that with like oxyacetylene so it's uh, still smoking a little bit but let's just give this a little little tweak see if it moves hey that's moving Be very gentle with these things. Very gentle. Last thing you want is one of these to shear off. That feels really good. That does. Look at the free and all in it. Bit of WD-40. You can see it's still smoking. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Well chuffed. Well chuffed for that. There you go, easy peasy. Think I'll probably think I'll probably buy a new one. I think I'll probably buy a new one to replace this one. Right, that's it.